Have you guys seen or heard of um, the like Should I series where I think they do a bunch of different stuff, but it's this guy like r- tries to recreate King Cobra meals. I've never checked it out. Um, the Should guys. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen it. Also, chat regular um, Lonely Diner has has recreated a couple of King Cobra's things on um, on some streams. I think on her. I think she's got a YouTube too. But uh, I wanted to just see how in depth this stuff gets because we love uh, we love checking out the King Cobra cooks stuff. Candy Calzone. Okay, I kind of I feel like we should start with Candy Calzone. That was a big one. I guess he never did that burger that he put like uh, chocolate covered cherries on or whatever. You glad Cobra recovered from being dead? <laughs> the haters trying to cancel. Culture. Today we're going to be making oh, King Cobra's loud. Candy Calzone. You're gonna need a banana, you're gonna need some peanut butter, you're gonna need some- What is that industrial peanut butter? Where is- is this guy in- does he like work in a kitchen? Hello everyone, today we're going to be making King Cobra- He must- he must work in a kitchen or something, cause what is this stainless steel countertop? Calzone. You're gonna need a banana, you're gonna need some peanut butter- Industrial size peanut butter? You're gonna need some butter? nice pizza crust from Pillsbury. Some kind Volume of chocolate, okay? I'm gonna use these Hershey's Kisses. You're gonna need brown sugar. You're gonna need a lot of mozzarella cheese. Oh my god. You're gonna need pepperoni. And then cook up a couple strips of bacon because you're gonna need these on here. So let's start oh, with even, getting our pizza. Even put a little video in the, up in the corner here. To cross ready. Don't you? You have to peel it first! You have to peel it first! Ooh. Stop! You gotta peel it first! Alright, I got our pizza crust finally out, so we're gonna unroll this. Video too loud? Right over our nice tray here. Where's the candy? You saw the Hershey's Kisses. At least there's that. The tray real nice. Now I put a little bit of flour down in my tray just because I don't want it to stick on me. Right. You're more than welcome to just do it without it. Now he uses a pizza stone, but we're just gonna use this here. Alright, we got this, so we're gonna get a fork. We're gonna get ourselves some peanut butter out of here. Very authentic. We're gonna spread this. Has to use the same tools and everything. All over our calzone here. We have a nice good cover. He has his own pizza dough. Why not use it? He's, I think he goes very, very as close as possible to uh, Cobra's instructions. He's even using a fork. Out of here. Okay. Save this for later. We're gonna use it again. Put it right in a nice dirty spot. Okay. You're gonna get a handful <laughs> of brown sugar to put on top of this. Brown sugar? Okay. Just like Cobra. If you get some all over the place, I hope he does a review matter. afterwards. This is probably the cleanest your hands are gonna ever get from this from this meal. Wipe it on your pants. Classic. All right. What was next? Uh, we're gonna put. All right. We're gonna take our banana here. Now you can get an old rotten banana. I just got the ripest, the most non-ripe banana I could find. You're gonna take your uh, fork and you're gonna cut it. Oh, with the peanut fork. buttered fork. Okay. Don't worry, you're not gonna wash your hands again anyway, so it doesn't really matter how you cut this up. But if you use a fork to cut it. You should be good to go. You guys, you guys are trying to justify the ingredient choice of King Cobra right now. Which is silly, because it's not going to make any sense. <laughs> Probably do even smaller chunks than I'm doing, but it should melt just fine in the uh, oven, where I don't have to worry too much this about is, it. This now, is the guy who put chocolate-covered cherries on a burger. Personally, but I thought this recipe Sushi pretty interesting, nachos. So I thought I'd try it. Right, we'll get the rest of the bananas in there. He tried to deep-fry avocados. Still, he's still going to need it. Alright, the next thing you want is we're gonna put the cheese on top of this. So take a nice handful of your mozzarella cheese. Peanut butter, bananas, and put cheese. It right over this bad boy. A bit more. Could be good in some circumstances. If you have to, again, just wipe the peanut butter off on either your shirt or your, uh, your pants. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna wipe it on my shirt. I know he's being trying to be consistent with the instructions, but I feel like being consistent with like the cross contamination was not the best look. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Okay. All right, we're gonna put some uh, bacon on it first. Our cooked bacon. Now his was fresh okay. cooked. This is 
been sitting for a while. Thank God so it's cooked. I didn't figure I needed to cook up fresh bacon for this. I figured it'll work just fine. Yeah, Wait. but you didn't you didn't have it stewing in a electric cooker with like month old grease oh, in it. Was bad. Boy, so it's not really the here. same thing. I used about three pieces. If you want to put a couple more on on the top of this now. It is therefore useful for roasts, fish, different types of vegetables, baked pasta and lasagna, biscuits, pies and sweets with a soft heart. Okay. Uh, I said I didn't want the fucking Alexa listening to me just throughout the day. I didn't want that. I said I didn't want the, that Alexa listening to me all day. Started spewing out the definition of a cooker. I didn't like. I I was so confused. I thought there was something going on in the video or something. Why did it get picked up so clearly by the microphone too? Yeah, I said cooker, and I must have thought I was talking to. I knew it. I knew. <laughs> I knew it was gonna get me eventually. Pepperoni. And if you have to bacon. take a cigarette break every five minutes while you're doing this, I unfortunately don't smoke, so. I don't get the luxury of taking cigarette breaks. Unfortunately. Okay. Indy on here. Like I said, I'm using Hershey's Kisses. I don't know what. I honestly don't know what kind of candy he uses whatsoever. I think the Hershey's Kisses should be good for this, though. I don't see a problem with why they wouldn't be. Probably gonna end up using quite a bit of these, though. It's Maybe a dig at a colleague, yeah, right? Been better, but okay. Figure, the Hershey's Kiss is going anyway. on top. So we're at right? peanut butter, banana, mozzarella, bacon, pepperoni, Hershey's Kisses, all on top of a, what is it, like crescent roll dough? All right, this should be about good, because I'm going to be, when we... Oh, no, he used chocolate-covered cherries on this. What did I miss? Here, like I said, I'm using Hershey's Kisses. I don't know what... I honestly don't know what kind of candy he uses whatsoever. Oh, come on! It's the fucking... Look at him! It's the chocolate-covered cherries! That's what it is. What do you mean you don't know? You ever seen that before? They sell them at the Wawa? Okay. Bummer. I'm bummed out now. Could have been good. Yeah, we'll get rid of that tin foil. We're gonna put some more cheese on top of this. Oh, okay. Another layer of cheese. Cover it really nice with some cheese. And then you're gonna use a little bit more brown sugar. <laughs> brown sugar, okay. I don't know what scenario King Cobra got his hands on this brown sugar, but I just can't see him buying it on his own, you know? I don't think he would ever think to buy brown sugar. He must have just acquired it somehow. All right, now we're gonna- Unless maybe he was like candying some bacon one time and he was like, oh, here we go, brown sugar. Close this bad boy up. Let's, let's see if I can't fold it like he folded his. Found it like this, I guess. Just, Just yeah, stretch it over like dough. that. Yeah, yeah. He's so. making a cobra meal. All right, and here's how we're looking. Now I'm gonna cook this in our pizza oven. I could use the regular one. If you're gonna use the regular one, cook it at 425 for 18 minutes. Now you want to set it on 19. You mean 420? And then by the time you put it in, it'll be 18 minutes exact. So I'm gonna put this in and cook it, and we'll see how it looks. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot. You gotta put a little extra brown sugar on the top of it, too. Give it a nice <laughs> crusted coating. It's here. nice glaze. I hope he tries All it. Right, so it looks about ready. It looks pretty good, actually. It went through once. It seems to be relatively crispy. I was just worried it might uh, not cook the dough through, but we should be good with this. I think you'll live. Just make sure it's not stuck. Ah, got a little stuck to the tray. Damn it. I feel like it's- just, uh, I feel like it can't be that bad. Off. There we go. Yeah. Okay, good. It didn't get stuck too bad to the tray. So, I'm gonna- I don't like the sploosh on top of it. Let it cool for a few minutes. I'm gonna cut it open. I don't open. like the way the brown Actually, sugar melted. I'll cut it open and let it cool for a few minutes. Damn, you don't have like a bread looks. knife for that We're sucker? we cut it into four pieces. Okay, it's uh, it cooked, it cooked. Oh yeah, inside of that doesn't look too bad. Let's see if it's nice and hot. Yeah, it feels nice. I'm gonna cut it in uh, four pieces. 
like I said, I'm gonna let it cool. Right. We'll do a couple things cleaning up, and then we'll uh, we'll come back. Okay. So I, I filmed me eating it, but my uh, opinions were kind of garbage, so I'm going to refilm it. I, what is what? I filmed me eating it, but my opinions were kind of garbage, so I'm going to refilm it. What do you mean your opinions were garbage? I ate a little bit of it, and I'll eat some more here. Hi. If you want to look in. How are you? you? look inside of it. I, I, was, I was thinking that the peanut butter is a little too powerful. It is. I don't like the banana in it, but it actually... It's kind of tasty. Like, the chocolate goes well in there. There's quite a bit of brown. This fly trap. Brown sugar, that's pretty good. I think without the bananas, I would be more good with this. But I, I don't think, think I want to get anything in this pizzeria. That for general enjoyment, like if you're going to make this for yourself, I, I don't think I would just enjoy it to eat for yourself. I think this would be something funny to do for this, but... I won't make this otherwise, but it's it's actually not the worst thing in the world I've had. It's a lot better. Oh, what, were you going to finish it? We're going to finish it now? And some stuff, but I think there's a little too much cheese in it, but it's actually fine. But I think everything but the bananas is all right. He's taking it very seriously. So, at King Cobra, I give you a, like a dirty out of 10. It's, it's... You say a 30 out of 10 or a dirty out of 10? Edible, but like I said, I won't make this normally. What? Well, Enjoy. Hello, everyone. Good work. That's some good work right there. God's work, you know. <laughs> Bite-sized cobra. That's what's up, homie. Nice. This is a tired dog right here. Just so you know. All right, let's take a look at the cheesy pasta. Mmm, cooking up some burger and eggs. Hello, everyone. Today I lost my goddamn mind. We're gonna be making King Cobra's Fair cheesy enough. pasta. Now this one's a big ups to Harry Boothole for this video, so if this goes horribly wrong... I've, I've seen that username floating around. Blame everything on him, but you're gonna need a couple things for this. You're gonna need some mayonnaise. Industrial sized mayonnaise. You're gonna need some Hamburger Helper beef pasta. You're gonna need some Hamburger Helper the cheeseburger macaroni. Now he had okay. Kaylee's Kitchen, but I couldn't find that. I assume these will be the same thing. You're gonna need a pot that- <laughs> Where does the mustard go? Let's find out. You cook egg- These are- the uh, Whatever- The Cobra videos that these are based on, I'm sure I've already watched. I I cook maybe it was in live streams, maybe it was in separate videos, but I'm positive I have. Pretty sure I've watched every decent King Cobra cooking Eggs video. about like five hours or so ago in this pot, so we should be good with that. You're gonna need some mustard. Hidden Valley Ranch, you gotta get of the Hidden course. Valley kind, this is the best for this. Not the uh, Maple Bacon Ranch. You're gonna need some salt and sugar all mixed together. If you have it in a Ziploc bag, it'll help. Oh yes, Cobra's Secret Seasoning Blend. The salt and sugar mixed together. Sprinkle that on anything and it improves it. And then we're gonna make a drink while we're doing this oh, too. Oh, a gonna drink need some combo. Monster, uh, some Coke and some Jack Daniels. We're gonna do a third of each of these, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so the first thing we want to do, oh, you're also going to want a nice cleaning rag. Get as one as clean as you can get. So we're going to go over and we're going to fill oh. this up with a little bit of water. Here, we're going to pour the That's a fresh one? First. That was a fresh one? There we go. Oh, we're just mixing them together. Go Cobra get a style. Water. Probably should have stopped water here. Okay. I think that should be all right. Just get this pot right on the stove and start going. Put it on high heat to start. We're going to get this up to a boil here. All right, now while we're waiting for this, I'm going to make my drink. So I got the... Why did Cobra's water look seasoned? Oh, right, because he used a dirty... He used a dirty pot. There. Coke. Monster. Then you're gonna add a third Jack of Daniels. Jack Daniels. Let me take the pour spout off of here. There we go. That okay. should be good. Now remember, we're true magicians. Obviously, we want to oh cast our cold spell God. on it with our battle staffs that we bought. Oh, there we go. Now that'll be really nice. Wow, very authentic. Now you want to give it a little swirl here. The the boggling brewing is potions. 
Hmm. That's actually pretty good. All right, and we're gonna wait a little bit for this to come up. So while we're waiting, we're gonna watch this video. Very opaque. Hello, this is the CEO of Battlestaff Emporium Should I series. This is what I get for trusting feng sh Chinese feng shui magic. Right, oh. Wait a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit of bubbles in there. Uh, we're not up to a rolling boil yet, but we want to start hey. getting our French's mustard and our mayonnaise in there. We want to have it congeal Must up a little bit. Who is asking what 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 do you do with the uh, mustard? It's it's for the water. So make sure you don't shake your mustard when you do this. You want to have little sprays come out. There okay. I only had a little bit of little sprays, but that should be good. Just a couple dabs in there should be all right. Okay. We'll give it a nice mix around here. I believe, if I recall correctly, when Cobra made this, he does not drain the water. He just uses a low enough amount of water that it just kind of turns into the sauce. Like he's making fucking rice or something. Always gives a good flavor to pasta. A lot of, or uh, mac and cheese. A lot of mac and cheese recipes do have mustard in it. So it's not I'm a strange not buying thing it. here to have not a buying bit of mustard. It. To be honest Just with you. A tiny bit more in here, though. There we go. Let's get yourself your. He used more two mayo than I remembered. Excuses. Forkfuls. Excuses. Minutes. Just put it right in there. We gotta get a good heaping forkful. There we go. I wouldn't call that now heaping. Make sure you lick the leftover mayonnaise off of it. Oh. Mm. That's good. Here. Oh. It's gonna take a while for the mayonnaise to break down, but that's all right. We're still waiting break for it to come up down. to boil. Okay. We now we're getting that boil. Oh yeah. Now just be careful if you filled your pan too high that it doesn't spill everywhere. We want to let this bubble up for. Just I, a I gotta say that is a great looking pasta pot right there, nice and tall. You want a nice tall column? That's what Actually, my mom says probably anyway. Probably not a few minutes. Probably like a minute or so. Then we're gonna turn it down. And she's a really good cook. Keeps the heat in. Just cooks it sure real it quick. Make sure it doesn't overflow on you. You don't want that to happen. Make your uh, stove all nasty. I'm actually going to turn it down now. About low here before it does low on more. Okay. All right. We're going to put in a little bit of ranch now. Grab it. Very cloudy. You want to use quite a bit of ranch in here. Just want to open up the whole top of it. All right. You just want to pour right. Oh, that wow. Should be good. Yeah, he did use way too much water. Make sure you mix this bad boy around really good. Thought this was a burger. No, no, no. He's using hamburger helper to make mac and cheese. You guys know what hamburger See helper the, is? Uh, yellowing. You guys know what hamburger helper is like these little kind of meal kit things to give you like pasta, like powdered sauce stuff. All they usually require from you is like a pound of ground beef or something to add into it, and then maybe like milk and water or something or whatever. But it's basically you buy these boxes. And then you get a pound of beef and then you can make a dinner. In color we're getting in here, this is where we want to be. Obviously we're not quite congealed yet, we're uh, still a little thick on our mayonnaise. We'll uh, stir that out. Hopefully uh, as it continues going on, the mayonnaise That's all my ex-husband would eat. I ate them. <laughs> nice. If not, you can always cast a spell yeah, on it. So you're, 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 making, you're making discount beef stroganoff, basically. It's just cheesy noodles and you're adding beef into it. You know? I mean, you did buy my battle staff, right? Stroganoff? Right. Am I right? You know, what you know about Stroganoff? That, there's a film. There's a film on it. Go ahead and turn it up a little bit more. There we go. So we want to see a little bit of that bubbling over there. All right, now while we're boiling back up, we want to add a little bit of our salt and sugar mix. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, you can add some pepper into salt, it Salt, sugar too, mix? But we just want to have two nice fingerfuls. Well, I'm going to need a little bit more of the uh, salt and sugar. Mm, that's pretty good. Now, I'm not feeling too adventurous, I guess, so I'm just going to leave the black pepper out of it. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put in the cheese powder. Oh, yes, the packets. I don't the, remember the which cheese powder was what. We're just gonna so what you get in the hamburger the helper, you here. get the noodles that you gotta cook up, and then you get this sauce like packet. No, this might be the beef one. And you just use both of them? Okay. okay. No, this one's the beef one, and that other one looked like cheeseburger. Let's stir this all around here. Good God. 
Yeah, you use way too much water, comparatively. You may have used too much water. He's had the mayo uncapped the whole time? Yeah, I don't want- We got a little that. bit of a mess here. We'll just take a rag. Just clean it off real quick. There, simple. I don't- I don't like this. I don't like that. Starting to look a bit better. Are we getting- I don't think we're getting congealed like his, though. Congealed? Yeah, too much water. To too much water. For a little while. Just dunk the rag in there while you're at it. My mayonnaise kind of looks like the buttermilk that we did that one day, but I think if I leave it low and slow, don't, it should start to Don't point at the mayo now. chunks, please. Thicken it up a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit of flour. You make it a slurry? This is the laziest f***ing sh** I've ever seen. What are you doing? It's all gonna be all clumpy. Yeah, it's all already clumpy. Who cares? Just add a little bit more flour into here, and then I think okay. I should be good. Okay. All right. Damn me buying hamburger helper instead of Kaylee's kitchen. Got f dumplings in there. And there you have it. That should be well. It's not cheesy pasta anymore. That's watery. It's, Stop. It's pasta. No. Yeah, so like I said, it's not really. Uh, it's a little more watery than his. I tried to add some flour to thicken it up. I may have used too much water in my pot versus yeah. uh, his. Fucking boil that for another hour. Up, doesn't look the worst. Reduce well, I mean, it. it looks awful, gotta reduce. But, uh, I mean, my thickness doesn't appear to be She's got so much water in it. So it's definitely not as cheesy as his, but can make it work with a nice plate full here. How are we going to make it work? What do you mean by make it work? Shit soup. I'm going to let this cool down and then we'll come back. All right, here it is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not too excited to try it. But while I was waiting, it did thicken up a little bit, so it should be a there lot better yeah. than uh, what it was when I came off the stove. But I'm not wearing my glasses so that I can pretend that um, if I don't like it, then it's because I can't see what the fuck I'm eating. We'll, we'll give it a good, we'll give it a good chance here. Let's see what it smells like. It smells mostly like... It does smell a little bit like stale water, but I can mostly smell the uh, cheeseburger come through on it, though. We'll give it a little bite. What in the fuck in Ohio? Get that noodle. You'd eat it? You would eat it? Although I let half of it go out of my mouth. I, you could use flour to thicken. You could use flour to thicken. You could. It can be done. It doesn't taste that great. Like, it just tastes kind of like the hamburger helper meal itself. It's it's not stomach turning or anything yet. I mean, it's stomach turning because I know what was in it. The grip but of the spoon. I think spoon. the taste of it's not like the stomach turning. Oh, the thumb over is an interesting choice. Thumb over. And I think the, the flour spoon. I added kind of overpowered some of the other flavors. Wouldn't have thought of that. You don't that. really taste the mayonnaise, but you do taste a little bit of the ranch in it. But this is definitely something I won't eat more than a bite of. This is not that great. So, uh, Cobra, I'm sorry, this is not a winner for me. I know you like this, but the Ugh. taste is kind of okay, but I can't get over the fact of that I cooked this with eggs I made six hours ago, and then I just boiled pasta in dirty water and put fucking mayonnaise inside of this. Right. So if you, if you want to make this, I mean, it's no. not his worst thing. It's not no. his best thing either, but this is probably better than his uh, fiery fish pizza. So I give a mixed bag on this one. I'm not. I don't know what that. Is. I'm not doing this. This wasn't part of the deal here. I don't. I don't know what happened there. Like I know. I know. Like uh, what can you expect? We're dealing with like a cobra recipe here. Just got done choking. You okay? You you all good? You hanging in there?